listen to all the YouTubers out there. Look where I'm going today. Yep. I'll show you what I got later. Thank you for watching. Good afternoon subscribers and to all the YouTubers out there and especially to all the Louis Vuitton fans. Why? Because, ta-da! Looks like I finally picked up my Christmas present from my husband. Well, actually, you know, he says I can, you know, get my Louis Vuitton bag during Christmas time. And uh, so it is his Christmas gift to me, but he lets me pick it out because he's not sure which bags I like. And as you all know, um, for those of you who have been following me, I usually pick up my Louis Vuitton bag in the beginning of the year, usually, you know, as a, like a new year thing. And, but except this year, I wasn't going to go get one yet. You know, I was going to wait till later on being that we're in the pandemic era. And I was thinking to myself at the time, it's like, well, why would I buy a bag when there's nowhere to go? And then, but then something occurred to me. Um, Louis Vuitton prices. Louis Vuitton is not going to wait for me <laughs> to, to say, oh, okay, you can, um, love pink Hello Kitty can go get her bag now and then we can raise the prices. No, Louis Vuitton is not going to do that. And so I was thinking, you know what, I'm just going to get it now so that way when the pandemic is over and hopefully it will be over, um, I can start using my bag and I would... Um, get the bag at the price the current price now and before they you know raise the prices up again so that is one of the reasons why I decided to get the bag I want and not only that because um a couple bags caught my eye um for those of you who has been following my channel I posted three bags and I couldn't decide which one I want and I have finally decided which one and the other reason why I decided to get it now is because um, my SA, Victoria. Hi, Victoria. She is, she works for the Westfield Topanga Louis Vuitton Boutique. And I have been going to her for years. She has always been so helpful and have patience with me because, you know, I can't decide which bag. Or I would ask her, like, you know, can you hold this for me? Can you let me know when this comes in and whatnot? But she's always been so helpful. So so I'm happy to know that, that she's working, um, working there. And she also told me that... The boutique there, the Louis Vuitton boutique there is following the guidelines, you know, with social distancing and everything. So she made me feel comfortable to go inside the mall to pick up this bag. And sure enough, they do follow protocols when I got in and, um, and she, you know, asked my husband and I to hand sanitize at the hand sanitizing station. And so I love that. I love that so much. So that means everyone that comes in have to sanitize their hands. So love it. Love it. Okay. So enough of me chatting away. Let me do my unboxing. I will um, share the price later. But for now, let's see what's in here. Look at this. Look how pretty this ribbon is. I love it. Love it, love it. This is a Lunar New Year ribbon. So, so this is awesome. So it looks like it's the best time to pick up my bag, right? Because normally if I were to get a Louis Vuitton bag, it would be just a normal ribbon decoration, but because it's so close to Lunar New Year, I get to have a Lunar New Year ribbon. Yay! I love how she packaged my item. Oh wait, there's something in here. Oh yay! Oh my gosh. This is so cool. This too comes with it, and I understand like there's like limited 
um, quantities that come in this. So this was really nice of Victoria to save one for me. Um, these are like red envelopes like d during Lunar New Year where um, I think it's called Lisi where you know people put money in here and give it as gifts. Oh look how pretty. I love these um, envelopes. I actually last year um, it was last January as a matter of fact it's been a year ago I did get a second bag I think it was the Pochette Matisse and she gave me um, the, for the the year of the pig I think so this year the year of the ox but I love the packaging thank you Victoria and then I also got some samples so she gave me um, rose and this one oh, I love this little pouch that it comes in all right okay okay here this goes my unboxing let me see I don't want to ruin this ribbon here okay which one did I get Yes, I got the PM. Um, I can't. My, my mind just went blank. The Montessori PM backpack. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I totally had a brain fart. Oh my goodness. And it comes with this little um, charm. It's leather. Oh my gosh. The leather smells so good. And then this is magnet. And this is drawstring here, and this is felt. Oh my gosh, I love smell. Oh, and there's an inside pocket for those of you who is just now watching. There's no foot on here though. And it has the little handle, which is really awesome. And for those of you who are wondering, why did I pick this one? I'm going to tell you why now. Um, originally, I'm going to let you all know. Originally, I was going to get the one, the uh, the PM, the um, monogram canvas one with the black on top. And the reason why I wanted that one, and I really had my mind set on that one, like seriously. And the reason what I love about that one is because when you open it up, the interior was red. It was just a pop of color. It's just beautiful. But then when I got there today, because um, I had the choice between this one and the um, monogram canvas one, as much as I love the, the exterior of that one and the interior of the red lining, the reason why I didn't get it was because when I was playing with it, the drawstring part, because I guess the, the canvas part is harder. So when I was trying to close it, there's one part that was still sticking out. I'm sure it would get soft in later time. I'm not sure. But um, but that was one of the reasons that was bothering me because because even I was closing it, you know, it's like, oh, let me move it this way to see if it's gonna close. You know, this part here was still sticking out. I mean, I'm sure if you mess around with it a little bit, it will look like this but I don't feel like messing around with it and then the second reason why I ended up not getting the monogram canvas backpack of the Montessori was because uh, I've been hearing like different stories not from everyone but just you know a few people that they say um, the monogram canvas um, has peeling on them like peeling on the side or something it, it peels and i follow the um is it called the purse forum blog i guess that's what it is and a couple of people would say oh yeah you know there's peeling but then there's some other people i follow on youtube they didn't have any problem with peeling at all whatsoever but for me, I'd just rather be on the safe side and get this one anyways, because I like the fact that this one is so easy for me to just 
open this up because of the leather is softer than a monogram canvas. So that is why I picked this one. And then not only that, I mean, it's sort of a silly reason, but you know, but since I'm going to be spending this type of money, another reason why, I mean, this is just my personal preference. Okay. It has nothing to do whoever's out there, you know, who's buying certain bags. Cause this is just how I feel. And when I was looking in here on the monogram canvas, I was looking to see where it's made from and it didn't say anything. It just said, um, Louis Vuitton Paris. That's it. But this one, it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. And so, so that, that's another reason why I ended up getting this one. So, 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 you know, if you're doing like the pros and cons, like this one has more pros than there are cons. Whereas the other one, the monogram canvas, you know, like I, I do like the interior of the red, but, but, you know, but I don't want to risk it like later on, you know, what if it starts peeling, um, being that because it is a backpack, you know, you have it, you know, when you wear it against, you know, the front, like the sun hits it, I guess. And, and. It may start peeling and I don't want to risk it and also oh and the zipper is easy just to let you know I can unzip it really easily so I like that too so so that's why there's a lot of pros and stuff but actually I really did plan on getting the monogram canvas one with the black top leather flap but um but yeah so I ended up getting because I like the feel of the felt too so yeah oh and also while we're at it oh yeah let me share the price with you and for those of you who are watching i am not disclosing the price to brag i am only mentioning the price for people for um the louis vuitton fans out there who is thinking about getting it and want to know the price so as of today january 30th 2021 the price of this bag, the Montorius, or Montessorius, I apologize for um, not pronouncing this right. Montessorius PM, the black emperant, it's $2,700. And then with tax, it's $2,956.50. Uh, but this is LA tax. And, and here is the receipt. And this is the Louis Vuitton boutique I go to. Um, again, my SA person, her name is Victoria. She's so helpful. So if you're in the area or if you're looking for a Louis Vuitton, um, she is your SA to go to. She's always so helpful to me. And so I really appreciate that. And again, that was just a price to quote. So for people who is interested in buying it. And this is the insert that I got beforehand and let me see if it goes in let's see but just in case my video cuts off I want to thank everyone for watching because I've, I'm running out of space lately because I've been doing TikTok videos too so and it, I didn't know that it takes a lot of memory also Okay, so this is a medium. Oh, look at this. Okay, so you have to just push it in. And, oh, look at that. It fits just right. Just have to maneuver it a little. And this is how it looks. So that way I can put my hand sanitizers in there and whatnot. And so when we can all travel again, you know, but this one depends what mood I'm in. Like I can take this off too. But right now, by having this in here, it just makes it more stick out, I think. I don't know. I can still close it. But if that's too much of a hassle for me, I might just remove the insert and just use the insert for my never full bag. And this one gives me more space. So, uh, yeah. So I just want to thank 
everyone for watching um, my unboxing video. Look at her. So beautiful. And, um, and I will do a what's in my bag um, next. But I don't know what day I'm going to be doing that one yet. But, uh, but for now, this is the bag I picked for 2021. So again, thank you everyone for watching and have the great rest of the weekend. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye. Thank you.